May the Floic be with you. Let's check out Floic. So up here you have some templates that you can use. Interactive demo, step-by-step -step guide, screen only video, screen plus camera video, camera only video. Let's start with the interactive demo. So right here you can select your mic. We can just shut it off for this one. Hit next. Which window? You can do the tab, the window, the entire screen. Let's just go with this tab. Hit share. Now you're over here. We could start capturing right away. You can show recording controls on the screen or disable it. I like to keep it on. Little icon will be on the left, lower left corner. If you want to add some blurs, click this. We can blur any thing you'd like, any sensitive information. And let's see, locations, let's say we'll blur those. Done blurring, comes back here. Let's start capturing. Now the video captures up to 10 minutes, which for these flows, you want it to be quick. If it's for customer support, especially, you share the link, shoot it over to them, and you give them a quick overview. Start capturing. And now we'll scroll, it's recording. Click here. Go to the next page. Now say we want to add blurs here. We can always pause, add blur. It's not recording right now. It's just in blur mode. Go back to done, resume. Down, scroll here, start a project. Click here, click there, click there. If we had the microphone on at this moment, I it, it would record my voice and I can explain, hey, your estimated budget, you fill this field, field out, project details here, and then hit submit. Come back over here. You could either do done over here or you could stop sharing from the top. Now it's uploading. Generating preview. And then here we go. Click there. You can see it's falling through. So then you want to click here to learn more. So you get the idea. Now you can edit any of this at any time right over here. If you want to do AI voiceover, you can do that. Subtitles. If I was speaking and the mic was on, you can use all these features. So if you'd like to edit, you can click on any of these. You can see it goes right to that spot on the video. If you'd like to add the zoom, just click on that. It'll zoom in at that point. Could zoom in there. You can edit these. Email, I could do that. You could even move this if you want. You could change the type if you just want it to be a click, if you want it to look like that. Whatever you like. If any of these you want to disable, you just click on the eye, that's gone. You could add an interaction queue. If you want to go to another flow or somewhere else, you can do that. You can add more hotspots. So you got the idea over here. You can also turn this into a guide or a video. So if we want to convert this into a guide, we can do that. Once you publish, you could share the link. Copy link. So this is what you could share with people and then it will go through the whole process. So you get the idea there. You could also do swift play, which will just go from shot to shot. So click this, see, 
goes right to each frame very quickly without delay. You can also embed this. So you, you don't have to just share the link. You can embed it into uh, Notion, Fusebase, the website. If you want it for a knowledge base, this is great. All right, so let's go back. People can also comment on your flows. So you can get feedback if you send this to a client. And they could ask you some questions and you'll go back and forth. Step-by-step -step guide. I really like this one. Say so you want to share how to set up someone's search console. All right, so let's go. Let's add our blur. Don't want them seeing the client name. That's fine. Oh, another issue with um, some sites like Search Console and Google Analytics, when you're in blur mode, you can't scroll down. Um, so I can't add blurs down here below this line. So a workaround uh, I figured out is to zoom out in your browser. So I'm in blur mode now, I'm not recording, but zoom out, which is command uh, minus on the Mac, uh, and command plus to zoom in. I think on the PC it's control minus, I don't know, I'm a Mac user. <laughs> um, so then you can see everything and then we can add more blurs down here that we wouldn't be able to later. And then you go command zero and it goes back to the normal mode. Then we hit done. Now let's start capturing. And then we'll scroll down. So say we want to show URL inspection. No, I want to do pages. Click there, shows this. Why aren't these indexed? Pages will redirect, they're over here. I don't know, you're showing the client how to do things and they can do validate fix. Now let's go there, let's check out this. Inspect the URL, all right. And then you could always pause it down here or just do stop sharing. Now it's uploading the step-by-step -step guide. So this gives you kind of a different look. You can see it goes through each step. And it zooms in. So you could share this. And you can edit everything as usual up there. You could add steps in between with another image or screenshot. You can delete it. You could delete, you know, any of these that you want. You can zoom in and out. You can turn this into uh, a video if you'd like. Publish now. I really like this one, the step-by-step -step guides. And then you could put a table of contents if you'd like. You can embed it, like I said. You could do copy link. So I could shoot this over to the client or whoever. And this is what they would see. And they can go through the different, these I could have renamed. But it's really great for a knowledge base and help with customer support. So you have that. Then we also have the screen only, screen plus camera and camera only video. These are great. This is just like using any other uh, like Loom or other video recordings. If you wanna record your screen, uh, record yourself, uh, it also has, like I said, AI, voiceovers, subtitles. Um, all your projects are down here. You could delete them anytime. You could share them, edit them. This is the space. You can create folders up here. And then you have your insights, your analytics. You could see what was clicked, the call to action, total comments, how many views, if the client actually looked at it, checked out the flow, the date. Their support buttons right here. I really like Flowic, the team behind it, good guys. This tool is evolving. They're always getting updates. There's some things I'd like to see more with the blur mode, 
it, that it's that it sticks uh, when you go from page to page, and maybe for sites like Ana Google Analytics and Search Console, that you don't have to zoom in and out, but it's not a big deal. If you want to offer more efficient client support, Flowic is a solid solution. My clients are enjoying this already, where they email me. I don't know how to do this. I used to do a video recording. I still can with Flowic, but sometimes I don't feel like talking. So I could just send over a step-by-step -step guide. And then I could also keep it on my website in the knowledge base section. So we could use it. It kind of provides evergreen content. So it's really nice. Yeah, check out Flowic. All right, let me know what you think. And may the Flowic be with you.